So early in practice, uh, we're really taking an opportunity to focus on the culture and environment as a collective whole. Um, you know, the athletic side of things when it comes to sports, it comes naturally. I mean, you're going to have your workouts, you know, you're going to build upon it. It's going to get harder as the year goes on to push the kids. But uh, we've really been trying to hone in on a family aspect and kind of get people involved that way, you know. So trying to reinstill the ideology of a team, I think the numbers are a testament to that. So we're not going the traditional route of just focusing on athleticism. So uh, developing camaraderie, definitely. Um, when I look at all of my athletes this year, I mean, none of them come from the same social circle, so to say, right? They all have different ventures, different walks of life, different family experiences, but we try to play on that and make it a really personable environment. Um, you know, we're kind of using that to drive us forward. And the kids have really bonded well this year because of it. They have those shared experiences, those opportunities to speak with each other just as people. Like I said, the whole athletic aspect is coming second. We had this conversation early on uh, before this even truly got started, you know, during summer conditioning. And it gave them a sense of excitement. You know, the fact that they can actually go out and compete, it's not just every man for themselves, so to say. Um, it really embodied that team mindset, which is something that we were lacking last year just because we didn't have the numbers to support. So they came in this season with even more motivation than last year you know, to go out to the meets, to work harder in practice because they need to support the person next to them. It's Yeah, it's beneficial for a team because if your team's good or decent, you can always sometimes place and get medals as a team um, at some meets. And it's, it's nice to have a team. Normally it's just three girls or like three people total because not many people have interest in cross country. Goals for me is just Placing top 10 at meets. Yeah, that's probably my goal too. Probably try to like break into like the 21, 22 minute, uh, three miles. Like try to set a PR every meet if possible. <clears throat> it's one of those, I want to see my athletes supporting each other, right? Touching on that camaraderie aspect. Um, but we still have individual goals that we set. So, you know, what I tell the kids, I'm like, if you're going to go out there, you need to go out there with the mindset that you're going to do better than last time. And obviously injuries happen, it, it's a part of life. But every time that my athletes are stepping up to the line, they want to run better than their last race. You know, we use that as a benchmark to try and surpass each and every meet.